If you've been following my channel for a while, this video might just blow your mind. The reason why is because everything that I'm about to say in this video kind of contradicts everything that I've spoken about in regards to the law of attraction. Now, for those of you who don't know, I was a very firm believer in the law of attraction. And to an extent, I still am. And you'll see what I mean as I go on with the video. But maybe this isn't contradicting the law of attraction. It's kind of expanding the perspective of what the law of attraction actually is. See, the law of attraction by name is about attracting your desires to you. But I feel like the way that I've taught it and the way that I learned it is more about chasing your desires. You know, you're pursuing your desires with scripting, vision boards, and all of these things. And like I said, this is just kind of a change in perspective, an expansion of perspective. In this video, I wanna talk about the law of assumption, okay? Now, the law of assumption, I feel like, is kind of what the law of attraction aspires to be. And what I mean by that is, like I said, it's in the name, law of attraction. You're attracting things to you. But a lot of people, including myself, misconstrue that wording and make it to be something that it's not really meant to be. Now, the difference between the law of assumption and the law of attraction at the fundamental level is that, like I said, the law of attraction is generally associated with pursuing your desires, whereas the law of assumption is about attracting your desires, becoming a magnet to your desires. What you need to understand about all of your desires is that you do not desire what you think you desire. Okay, you don't want money. You don't want a relationship. You don't want that new car, that new house. You don't want anything. You want the feeling that those things will provide you. At the end of the day, these things that we assign arbitrary value to, they are all an illusion. They're all meaningless in the grand scheme of things. You know, when you want something, when you desire something, that inherently means that you have a lack within you. You have a lack of something within you and you're trying to fill that void with something from outside of yourself. And as a result, you're likely putting yourself in that lack mindset. And that's why a lot of law of attraction teachers or spiritual coaches will tell you that you need to learn to let go of your attachment to the outcome and to your desires if you truly want to manifest things in the most effortless way possible. Now, like I said, this doesn't necessarily contradict the law of attraction, but it just expands the perspective of what the law of attraction truly is. You know, when you want a relationship, what are you looking for? You're looking for love. You might be looking for validation. You know, you might be looking for companionship. These are all feelings that you can give yourself. And when I say feeling, I'm talking about emotions. You know, the emotions that you want to experience. Your soul seeks these emotions, but your ego tries to find symbols through which to feel these emotions or to obtain these emotions. Now, like I said, when you get too caught up in your ego and you start pursuing these desires too hard without allowing yourself to feel that feeling along the way, without giving yourself permission to feel that feeling independent of the thing that you desire, you fall into a lack mindset and you unknowingly block your blessings. You know, you push things away from yourself. You make things a lot harder than they have to be. On the flip side of that, when you use the law of assumption and you develop that abundance mindset, you allow yourself to feel those feelings in the present moment. You allow yourself to acknowledge the things that you already have and all of the reasons why life is already great. Everything from outside of you will flow to you because at the end of the day, we are all energy. Just like I said in my law of attraction videos, we're all energy. And if you match the vibration of the reality that you want, or you match the vibration of the feeling that you want to feel from that reality, that reality will flow towards you. You won't have to put in as much work per se. You know, those are all egoic attachments, egoic ideas. You know, you feel like you have to put in this much work because you've been conditioned that way. You know, you've bought into the idea that good things don't come easily when they can. Things can come easily and effortlessly. You know, a lot of manifestations for me happen in a very synchronistic way. 
in a way that others outside of me might perceive as luck. But when it happens more than a few times, when it's a very consistent part of your life, are you lucky or have you stumbled upon something? You know, that's, that's a question that you need to answer for yourself. But I have my answer. You know, I know that this does work. But like I said, the law of attraction can be very, very paradoxical to its actual intended purpose if you're too caught up in your egoic desires as opposed to the feelings that you want to feel. Okay, now this is something that a lot of people going through their spiritual awakening will notice is that all of a sudden the physical realm doesn't seem as important to them anymore. You know, they see it for what it is, an illusion. You realize that it's malleable and it reflects your inner state of being. This is when the law of assumption comes into play because once you learn to feel those feelings in the present moment, which I will get into in a second, but once you learn to feel those feelings right here, right now, because tomorrow is not promised and you shouldn't have to wait to be happy, that's when things will start to flow your way. And, you know, just because, you know, you feel happy now doesn't mean that you get complacent to the point that, you know, you don't want those things anymore. That doesn't mean that you don't want those things. I saw a great analogy for this on TikTok. Okay, say for example, you're eating your favorite food. Let's just say it's pizza. You take that first bite of pizza and it tastes really, really good. And you enjoy that bite for everything that it is. That doesn't mean that you don't want to eat the rest of the pizza. If anything, it makes you want the rest of the pizza even more. So there is no correlation between your desires and complacency in the here and now and having an abundance mindset. Now, the best way, the quickest way to develop an abundance mindset and shift your vibrational point of attraction from within is by practicing gratitude. Okay, I've talked about this in multiple law of attraction videos in the past, but practice gratitude in the here and now. No matter what you want, okay, no matter what it is that you want, you want the feeling of gratitude. You want something to be thankful for. Okay, so some people might look at this as, you know, whenever you feel grateful for what you have, the universe will reward you with more. I don't even look at it like that. You know, it's just a matter of attracting what you want by becoming what you want. Because we're all energy. Everything is energy. And you match that vibrational set point and that thing will flow towards you because you're grateful. And like I said, no matter what you want, whether you want a million dollars in your bank account, whether you want to meet your soulmate or whatever it may be, you want to feel grateful. Because even if you got that thing, if you're not grateful for it, then what's the point of getting it? You're just going to want something else after that. You know, and that's where complacency comes in. You have to learn to be complacent where you are. And you know, that's something that I spoke about in my video about my ego and why I felt like I needed my ego is that you know, I didn't want to become too complacent. I didn't want to be complacent because then I would stop putting in the work. I stopped grinding to get to where I want to go. But now I realized that I was contradicting myself because if you don't allow yourself to be complacent in the here and now, then you're basically blocking your blessings. You're delaying that gratification more than you have to. See, when you develop an attachment to the outcome and to your desires, you become a slave to your desires. This is why it's very important to let go. You have to learn to let go of your attachment to the outcome. Okay, now, for example, me, I always talk about, you know, I want 100,000 subscribers by May 2021. And you know, that's a great goal to have, you know, it motivates me to work harder. But at the end of the day, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, what difference will it make? What difference does that make versus where I'm at right now, you know, closing in on 25,000 subscribers. I'm still making an impact in thousands of people's lives every day. So how much more if I have 100,000 or a million, 5 million, what difference does it make? You know, as long as I'm doing what I love to do every day, I'm working for myself, I'm free. You know, I get to do what I love to do and make money doing that. That should be enough for me. And enjoying the freedom that I have right now, that's what's going to put me in the mindset and the vibrational set point to attract more of that to myself. What you have to understand is that 
You are your desires. Separation is just an illusion. Like I said, if you've gone through your spiritual awakening or if you're going through your spiritual awakening, that's going to make sense to you. You know what I'm talking about. You felt oneness before, maybe in your meditations, maybe you did psychedelics, whatever you may have done to experience that sense of oneness. But, you know, to some people, they may not understand that yet. They may not be able to fathom that concept, and that's okay. Everyone is on their own path. Everyone's on their own unique individual journey. And, you know, not everyone is meant to understand that idea just yet. But one day, you will. If you keep falling down that rabbit hole of law of attraction, eventually, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, you are your desires. You are everything. We are one. And the knowing that we are one, the understanding that we are one, that's what allows you to tap into the universal consciousness and become what you desire and allow that desire to flow your way. In law of attraction terms, this is known as letting go, surrendering, allowing the universe to work its magic.